let's do number 43. a little ambiguous here. They said it's behind the lens. But which side is behind? Well, let's see. Where would the object be here? Um, so let's say we're putting the object on this side. Where would the person's eye be then? Which side are we looking at from? If the object is over here, we'd be looking to the right. And the person would be looking from here, right? So which side would be behind the lens? I guess from the person, the eye's perspective, I guess this side is behind the lens. Let me check the answer key to see if that's what they're going for there. Now they actually have the image opposite to the object. It's kind of ambiguous to me what they mean by behind. I don't know why that would be behind the lens over there. All right, um, so I guess I wouldn't worry about that too much. But they want the image to be on the right. The key point of the problem is they want the image to be on the right-hand side. So let's draw a picture where the image is on the right-hand side, if the object is on the left-hand side. Now, any lens has both, has two focal points. Correct. So we can might as well draw both of those in. We should say where they, uh, now we should draw in the image. How do we know where to uh, draw it off? Oh, well, um, well, we, we know at least what the distance is. So how far away is it? Is it 70? Yeah. Now, I guess we don't really know if it's pointing up or down. So I'll just say, here's the image. Okay. I won't draw an arrow for that, but I'll say, here's the image. OK. okay. Um, and uh, now I guess we should, uh, what was the question asking us for? Find the object distance using the ray diagram and by calculation. So let's just use calculation here to start with. So let's do some calculations to find the object distance. That would be a good equation for us to use here. The uh, lens mirror equation. OK, good. What do we know that we can plug into that?
Okay. Now, it looks like you decided, since you knew you were solving for O, it looks like you decided to get O by itself first. So you did some algebra first, and then you plugged in. All right. Um, so, that's, uh, so we plugged in some, interest, some good numbers there. Um, the only important criticism here, but this is an important criticism, is that we never want to write down numbers without signs when we're doing lenses and mirrors. We have to get into the habit of always plugging in numbers with signs. Okay. Uh, so what about this focal distance? Should this be positive or negative? It should be positive. That's right. How, how do we know that? Because it's a um, converging lens. Yeah, the problem told us it was a converging lens. And maybe as soon as we saw that, perhaps we should have immediately written the <coughs> positive focal point. That's the information we get from that. So of course, in ordinary life, people don't usually put positive signs in front of positive numbers. But this is a really good habit in physics to put a positive sign here so that we're thinking about the sign. Now, the image distance here might be harder. I'm not sure if it's, uh, it will be clear to you here. How do we decide? Well, in general, how do you decide the sign of the image distance? What does that depend on? The outgoing light, whether it's on the same side or the opposite side. OK, good. A real image, it will be on the same side. Right. And uh, the virtual image, it will be on the opposite side. OK, well, that, that's a good start. So what do we have here? That's right. Well, what's your thinking there? Because the image is on the same side as the outgoing light. Yeah, because we decided to draw a picture with the object on the left. I, I kind of lost the object up here. I don't know exactly where the object is, but wherever the object is, I decided to put it on the left. And then it turns out when they said that the image was behind the object, I mean, when they said the image was behind the lens, they meant it was behind the lens from the perspective of the object, I guess is what they meant. So behind the lens meant on the right over here. Um, well, which side is the incoming light going to be on? Here's the incoming light. So the outgoing light must be over here. Well, then the image is on the same side as the outgoing light. The light always goes from the object away from the object. So here's the image on the same side as the outgoing light. OK. Um, so what did we decide, positive or negative? Uh, it's going to be positive. Because you correctly saw that this would be a real image. All right, now in this case, notice you would have gotten the right answer even without thinking about the signs, because we lucked out and they were both positive. But in many problems, those are traps. So it's always important to think about the signs. All right, so if you do the calculation. Round off, you get about 0 0.003 or 0 0.002. And is that what you got? Uh, 500 millimeters? <clears throat> oh, yeah. We, uh, we probably rounded off too much here, though, um, because when you round off this much, uh, I actually got 390 because I had one more decimal point. Oh, you did. So we shouldn't have rounded off nearly as much uh, over here. Okay. So it would be better to say, uh, so 165th, that would be 0 0.0154. And 178th, that would be minus 0 0.01. To eight zero one five four minus point zero one two eight equals I got three zero zero two six. This is a pretty significant digit here. Yes, yes it is. And now we get about three hundred eighty four. Um, I got three ninety when I divided it by the answer. Oh, so maybe you're not you're rounding off less than me. Okay. Uh, or, or my calculator is. Yeah, so you're actually using the whole number, and I'm just using the 0.26. So that's why we're still getting a slightly different answer. All right, but this is good enough. So we get that the object distance, it's definitely not 500. So we get that the object distance is about 380 or 390. You're probably more accurate than me, so about 380 or 390 millimeters. All right. Okay. All right, and now we could actually. Uh, 
draw in our uh, picture a little bit more. So here's our image at 78. And then the object here is actually way further out when I drew it. Two times the focal point. Yeah, that's the key. So the object is way out here. So we're going to have in the middle of yeah, so what, did, what would our chart have predicted here? A real image. Yeah, and what else would the chart predict? That it was uh, inverted. And, and that the image uh, was shrunk. Okay, good. 